Hi, I'm Julie Dowling and I'm an artist. My family are from a long tradition of doing art as a part of life. So there was no real point where I sort of decided to do art. It was a family thing. And um, I love my family, so it became a part of that language. And um, in our family, we have a thing called uh, Iditsha, which is sending messages between communities. And um, when I was growing up, we did that through our art. And um, it's the same sort of thing when I do paintings now, as I'm doing that to a broader community, talking about um, our stories and getting it out there so that people know what we know. Uh, the one I'm working on, to, well I started today, is um, uh, about uh, women stockmen and particularly uh, about uh, stolen wages. My great grandma was a uh, a stock woman for some of her life but um, uh, they never got any pay for it and this sort of happened right up until the 19 some well some of them right up until the 1980s and some would argue that it still happens in its places I, I like the idea that if I do a work that if it does go into the public realm, that um, when it, you know, it's like sending a painting out, it's like, it's sort of like launching a ship. And when it does get um, into a collection, I like them to be in public collections first because then the transference of like information is, is broader to the public. And I mean, that's not so much the case anymore with social media, but um, seeing the work in the physical sense is a lot different than seeing it online. So um, I prefer my work to going into public collections. I don't like sort of thinking about things as being political, but when you're First Nation in this country and lots of places, your life becomes um, political in lots of ways, if that is a word. So my politics, if there's any, is based on um, trying to maintain my culture within a, within a, a dominant kind of well, I like to call it an empire at the moment. I like the idea that people can pick up from my work something about, uh, you know, what it, it's like to be First Nation and then and actually work from there because everyone's opinion of a work is, you know, uh, pretty much what they bring to it. But my main aim is to stop racism. Um, when racism is based on ignorance and fear, I like to create work that actually cuts all of that down. This is my studio. If you do art, I encourage you to keep doing more of it. If you like seeing art, then go out and see lots of it.